instead of three safety valves for cross-examination, okay? The first one is, and I don't know if you guys take notes during this call, but it would be smart to take notes or you can always watch the replay too. It's no big deal. Uh, but the first one is something that you can say to uh, control the pace, break up uh, you know, a, a fast pace, uh, buy yourself a little bit of time, and that is, can you repeat the question, okay? There is no harm at all in saying, can you repeat the question, okay? If it's something that you need to think about, something you wanna make sure you get your words right, if you didn't hear the question, um, you know, if you weren't paying attention or maybe they were mumbling or maybe they were, you know, you know, not speak, speaking too quickly or whatever. Do not ever be ashamed to use that first safety valve. Can you repeat the question? You will not lose any points on cross-examination for saying that. Okay. Now, if you say it like six times in a row to the same question, can you repeat the question? Can you repeat the question? Can you repeat the question? Obviously, actually, if you, if you say it twice in a row, you're probably, you know, going to get some weird looks from the judge and maybe an eye roll from the attorney. Um, but if you use it multiple times throughout your cross-examination, it's not really, it's not really going to harm you, obviously, as long as you're reasonable about it. Okay. So that's number one. Can you repeat the question? Don't hesitate to fall back on that. Don't be afraid to say that when you are on the stand and getting cross-examined. The second safety valve that you can use to, to, like I said, to buy yourself time, get some clarity, um, control the pace. I don't understand exactly what you're asking. Okay. I don't understand exactly what you're asking. I'm sorry. You know, I'm really sorry. I, I don't understand exactly what you're asking. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. So-and-so, I don't understand what you're asking. You know, can you, can you simplify it a little bit? Attorneys have a tendency to sometimes not only uh, control the pace, but they have a tendency to maybe try to piecemeal things together to try to confuse the witness that they are cross-examining, to get them to go down a rabbit hole that they want them to go down. If at any time during your cross-examination, you, you feel yourself getting a little bit confused or not completely following what the attorney is asking you on cross-examination, do not be afraid to use that second safety valve. I don't understand exactly what you're asking. Now, obviously, if it's to a question like, um, you know, you live at such and such address, correct? You're not gonna say, I don't understand exactly what you're asking. But if they put some convoluted ass question, cross-examination question with try to lawyer tricks or push you into a wall, don't hesitate to fall back on, I don't understand exactly what you're asking, okay? That's number two safety valve. And the number three safety valve to use to, to bail yourself out or to buy yourself time is and I like I like to use it this way, but you can you can say it however you want. Um, I honestly can't recall, and I don't want to guess. Okay, I like it that way. I mean, it doesn't you know you don't want to obviously be like robotic when you're saying it, you know, like you're reading it or something. But that's the main point. Look, I honestly can't recall, and I don't want to guess. You know. Are you telling me you don't remember such and such? Look, I, I, I want to be honest. I can't recall, and I, and I don't want to guess because I don't want to. I don't want to be wrong, or I don't want you know, like I I can't recall. Okay, if they're trying now, granted, listen, with these three safety valves, you don't ever want a lot. Like you don't want to. That would be the only one where there there is actually like a ramification for a lie. I mean, you never want to lie, obviously, but. Can you repeat the question? That's a question. That that's not a lie. You know, I don't understand exactly what you're asking. That's not a lie either, because you're not going to understand it if it's convoluted. And then I honestly can't recall. I don't want to guess. You shouldn't use it. You shouldn't lie when you're using that. But if if you're not sure, 
You know, if you're not sure, if you're not clear on the question, if you're not clear on what they're asking, if they're asking details and you're not clear and you don't want to be tied down to something that could be wrong or that you could be caught in a lie on the stand, I honestly can't recall and I don't want to guess. Okay. You're not going to get harmed for that. All right. You're not going to get hurt for that. So in recap, I know this was a quick topic, but it's a very important topic and a very useful topic. The safety valves for a cross-examination. This is when you are getting cross-examined, when you are on the stand on that island, okay? Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry, you know? I don't understand exactly what you're asking. And I honestly can't recall, and I don't want to guess. Okay? The big three. Use those to dictate the pace. Buy yourself time. Prevent yourself from going down a rabbit hole. Uh, keep yourself from inadvertently lying or get, getting caught in what appears to be a lie. And that's really it. Quick topic, very important topic, though. If you didn't take notes, come back to this video before you go into court because it's very beneficial.